All right. Hello, hello, and welcome. This is April Ray, CEO and founder of the Introvert Mogul Studios and creator of From Brand to Profit. Um, thank you guys for joining me. I wanted to talk about online assets and what is an online asset. So to preface this, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm doing videos because I've been having a bunch of coughing bouts and sometimes it just happens while I'm talking. So uh, if it happens, I can at least edit it out. But to preface this, I, I did a post a couple of days ago asking people who are in the MLM industry um, to leave a link of their business opportunity because I was, in fact, looking for an opportunity to get into. And that was the truth. I was really looking for an opportunity. Um, and the thing, the problem that I came, that I started seeing as people started leaving their links is that <clears throat> nine times out of, I won't say nine times out of 10, nine times out of 10. Yeah. It was like the majority of them sent me to their replicated website. That right there is is a no-no. It's going to set you up for failure if you're sending people to a replicated website because nobody cares and people get lost in those things and they end up not doing anything at all. The other f handful of people actually sent me to a video and that was good. I think if you do nothing, send people to a video. Um, the problem with some of them, they were sending me to a YouTube channel and the problem with that is that people get distracted from YouTube. So they may be looking at your video and then all of a sudden they start veering off to other stuff and they don't look at the whole thing and maybe they can't find the video. So you, sending people to YouTube channels is not like your best strategy of that, what you, that you wanted to do. And then there was maybe one or two people that sent me to a video that was their company's video, but it wasn't on YouTube. It was on an actual page that they had set up. And that was cool. Um, so that made me think, you know, if when you're trying to market your business online, you have to have tools that you can use that is going to build your list, right? That's going to, um, so that you can follow up with these people. It's going to send them to something that's going to interest them, right? You need something that's going to keep their attention, you know, and just sending them to your uh, product site, most people are just not going to do anything. And Sometimes, and well, actually, I'll say the majority of the time, it's better to send people to your opportunity video than it is to sending them to some product demonstration or, like I said, your static um, replicated website. So I wanted to talk about the online tools. Excuse me. <clears throat> I wanted to talk about the online tools that marketers use, and they've been using it since before, you know, since the internet started. The affiliate marketers have been using this. And network marketers who market online, this is what we use. And it's, I call it your online assets, okay? And these are professional tools that feature you as the expert ultimately, okay? And then they ultimately, when you have it all set up, it really builds your business on autopilot, okay? So what is an asset? Basically, an asset is a tool that you own that can increase your, your, your profits. So, yeah, you can make money if somebody happens to buy from your replicated website. But most people who you send, like your cold market, they're not going to do anything. If you've maybe spoken with someone and they have agreed and, you know, they're ready to buy, then you can send them to that exact product page, not to the home page, but whatever it is that they want to buy, you send them to that cart. Um, but other than that, you don't really own that and it doesn't represent um, you. So replicated websites, nine times out of 10, they have a little tiny picture of you somewhere, maybe at the top or way at the bottom. That's no bueno, okay? It doesn't feature you as the owner and that's what you wanna do. So the first tool that I wanna talk about is what we call a landing page. Um, it it it's also goes by opt-in page, it goes by squeeze page. Uh, sales page, sales funnels, um, but basically what it does is that it helps you capture leads, all right, and, 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 and it builds your list. So you want to capture your leads n not on a sticky note or <laughs> not on, in your journal. You want to put them in something that you can keep track of them and you can also follow up with them, okay? 
Um, another really awesome benefit of a landing page is that you can uh, share your product and your business opportunity. Once they opt in, okay, you can create a page after your landing page with your company video. And I'll, and I'll show you an example of that. Um, a landing page positions you as the leader, as the professional, and it makes you the, the face of whatever it is that you're selling. People want to know that they're working with you not just buying from your, um, your, in, your company, not just buying from your company. They want to know that there's somebody in between you and the company that cares about them and that is going to, um, make sure that they get through the process of buying or whatever it is that you're trying to show them on your page, on your landing page. Um, they want to be working with an actual person basically. So it, per it positions you as the professional. Um, and the other aspect of having a landing page, it's actually, um, there's a landing page and then there's the, um, sales page. I'd like to call it. That's where you actually put your video on that keeps people from roaming around. It keeps them in one spot where they can find, you know, listen to the video. And then there's something, a call to action, how they can contact you to talk more. Okay. And you can also track, there's software where you can track who's looking at what. Okay, and I'm going to show you a quick example <clears throat> of a landing page. This is a landing page. It has a title that basically um, it calls out what people are struggling with, right? People are struggling with getting leads. They're tired of, you know, chasing people and begging people, and, and they don't like feeling like a pushy salesman. And I created that headline because that's how I felt. And... Then in order to, I put a video, this could be your company's video. I put in this 40 set, 46 minute masterclass, you're going to learn these points. And all you need to do is find your company's or make your own. I always say make your own, but if you're not, you know, ready for that, take your company's, um, uh, business opportunity video. I, personally feel that a business opportunity video is best than just some sort of product video video excuse me watch it yourself find the points that you know your video discusses that are something that people might want to know and then create something like this where people can learn you know are excited about actually putting their information in, right? Your master, your video is your lead magnet, okay? And um, you want to set it up where people will actually want to see it. You you don't want to say something like, you know, watch my video presentation of my business opportunity. You don't want to say that. You want to say, um, watch my video. This can help you um, live a better life or free of your nine to five or something like that. Okay. And then it gives you a place to put their name and put their um, email address. The only way they can have access to that video is by putting that information in people who are serious and want to know they're going to put that information in that already weeds out the people who are just looky loose and don't care. People will say, yeah, but I want everybody to see it. No, everybody's not going to see it. Only the people that want to see it are going to put their information in. Those are the people that you Find, you can call a prospect once they put their information in. I say don't give away the goodies for free. Let them pay for it with their email address if they want to know more information. Okay, so that's, that's a squeeze page or a landing page. Now, the um, sales page or the page where you'll have your video set up can brand you. Okay, you can, you can make it look, this is a tool, this is a software that I use. Um, but you'll be able to set it up. You can even put your picture. I have another opt-in page where my picture is showing. Um, but it showcases you as the, the person that's leading this business, regardless of whether or not um, it's you on the video. It doesn't matter. You are the one that is, it's, it's branded to you, so to speak. Now, <clears throat> there's another... Um, there's another step that you can add in between these two. And we call this a, a network marketers bridge um, video or bridge funnel. And basically it's a, once they put this information in here, it's gonna send them to another page that has your picture and it has your, um, um, a little bit of about me and who you are, 
Um, or it can be a video. I have a landing page. I meant to pull it out and I forgot to pull it out. Um, I have a landing page, or I should say a bridge page that has a video of me and, and I'm introducing them to the video they're about to see and getting them prepared for the video they're about to see. You can do that as a video or you can just write it as text and have your picture um, showing there. In fact, you know what, I'm going to try, see if I can pull this up real quick and I'll just stop the video. All right, so here is my bridge page, okay? My bridge between this landing page where they put their information in, it goes to my bridge page, and in a few sec a few minute or however long this video is, it's going to automatically send them to the actual, um, <clears throat> to the actual, oops, that's my website, to the actual video page. Okay, this is what we call a network marketer's bridge funnel. Um, it's genius because it features you and you can design it any way you want, but the most important part is you are on that page and you are featured as the expert and the owner of the business on that page. Okay, so let's go back to my slides. The next tool is an email autoresponder, and I told I talked about building your list earlier. Um, an Edo, uh, an Edo, an email autoresponder is what builds your list on autopilot, okay, so that you can follow up with your potential customers and partners and customers, okay. It's going to allow you to do this in an automated way. Basically, you can preload like five days of emails or 30 days of emails or however you want to um, set it up where you're talking to the people that opted into your list. You can sell and recruit through that email. Excuse me, it's connected to your landing page like I showed you. Trying not to cough. <laughs> the only thing is that it's not personalized, okay? You really don't know who's opting in. You don't know their story. You don't know, um, you know, what, why they opted in or what they need. You assume that they can relate to the headline that you, you know, had on there, but you can't really have a personal relationship with them, which is the ultimate goal is to create a relationship with the people on your list. So what you want to do is your goal is to get them off the list and with on a phone call with you, or maybe in your group or somewhere, or actually on the next tool which is called the CRM, which is the customer service, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, the CRM, the customer relationship manager. A lot of people don't talk about customer relationship managers. I'm going to pause this really quick. All right, so what I was saying was is that uh, a lot of people don't talk about or use a CRM, and a CRM is like my, what do you call that, my my personal weapon? No, my secret. <laughs> it's my secret weapon to getting uh, referrals, um, getting more cus repeat customers, people who um, want to do coaching with me on a, on, a, on a longer basis. And if you notice that I don't do a lot of marketing on my social media pages. I, um, I don't, I used to, um, but there's a few other things which I'm going to talk about that are working for me to where I don't really have to do as much as I used to do. So with a, what a CRM does is that it builds a more personal relationship while you're following up. And you're not following up if you have the right um, CRM, if you have a really good uh, appreciation CRM system. Um, you're able to follow up in a way that's not markety. That's you're not sending them information about your next sale or things of that nature. But you're following up in a really genuine way because you kind of are learning um, intimately about that particular customer or prospect. So it increases referrals when you do this right, and it also tracks people who have shown a greater level of interest in your offers. So people that maybe you've had a discussion on, even in your messenger. Maybe you hopped on the phone with, maybe they, you know, took a look um, at something of yours. They've shown a little bit greater um, interest in your offers than someone that maybe just opted in and then that's it. You never heard from them, okay? It improves relationships and it, and it increases customer loyalty. That is no joke. I'm so thankful for um, having this type of software. Um, it allows you to keep track of your prospects and customers, at, like I said, in a more intimate way. 
It tracks purchase histories. Um, you can track how many times you've spoken to the person. You can track personal information that you learned about them and you notate it. You know, their birthdays, anniversaries, special days that are um, important to them, and you can reach out to them. This, a lot of people neglect the customers that they already have. So you, even if you have one customer, there's a way where if you love on that customer, not keep selling, but love on that customer, they're going to give you referrals and they're going to um, be repeat customers. They're going to be loyal customers. Um, and there's a way uh, to go about doing that. Okay, the next tool, and this was my um, favorite tool. Well, I won't say it's my favorite because, you know, landing pages work amazingly well. But you're, you want to have your own branded website, and um, that's just a fact. You don't want to rely on social media to build the entire, your entire business, okay? It's having your own branded website. Uh, one, it's your hub, okay? That's where no matter what happens, people can go there to learn about you. It personalizes you. Um, it keeps all of your content in one place. So if you have Facebook Lives, you can upload um, video vlogs is what they call them. You can upload them there because they get lost in your feed. You may have some really awesome Facebook Lives and they get lost in your feed. You upload them to your to your blog, okay? You don't want to keep them on Facebook because, uh, well, you don't own social media. <laughs> you don't own Facebook. They can shut you. As soon as you upload something to social media of any platform, they own it. They can shut you down and you will never have access to any of your content ever again. So I always highly recommend people have their own branded website where people can get to know them. All right. And it makes it, it makes it super easy for people to learn about you to whether, and to decide whether or not they want to work with you. Um, and it positions you as a leader. It, 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 blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it positions you as a leader and people want to join leaders. People join people they know, like, and trust. And most direct sellers are not taking advantage of that. Okay. So I, I had my, um, I had my uh, website up. So what I have is uh, a work with me page. The work with me page um, basically is how I introduce um, my, my network marketing or anything. I can, if I happen to be in between network marketing um, positions, you know, then I can change it to something else. And they can book a call with me. They can watch a video. I have control of what I'm sending them to. Normally, I send people to an application if it's about a uh, network marketing opportunity. But my Work With Me page um, also showcases any skills that I have. It talks about me. Um, but not as in-depth as an About Me page. And then, of course, I have my services, but I have services. Um, and then the actual blog itself where I keep my content um, at as well. So having a blog is awesome. <laughs> All I can say is I get a lot, the majority of my leads I get from my blog not from Facebook, not from um, social, not from Twitter or anything like that. I do get a lot of leads from YouTube and I'm always trying to get people to, you know, embrace YouTube, especially if you're in the beauty industry and in the health industry, because people love, um, people love makeup tutorials on YouTube, not so much on Facebook, but they love it on YouTube. So I'm always telling people, you know, don't be afraid to have other platforms that you work with. I mean, even if you do, if you do a, a live on your Facebook page doing a makeup tutorial, which I, you know, I don't always recommend, especially if you don't have the audience to support it, upload it to your YouTube channel, right? So that's it. Those are the, the major tools that I, th that I like to call your online assets. And they all make up your system. Together, they all make up your marketing system. So one link from my sales funnel, right? Let me go back there. <clears throat> Starting from here, I share this link to this funnel. This is considered a funnel. The um, landing page, my um, bridge page and the actual page where they view the video. They get the actual product. That's a funnel. And I share that link wherever I want to share it. Um, I get a lot of, I share it on my website and I get a lot of traffic and people will find me there. So you want to have something that is works, that's working for you and sending them to a replicated website is not doing you justice at all for your business. 
Um, another thing is, is that when you're on social media, you want to, let me see if I can make this bigger so you can see. <clears throat> You want to have your online assets in this area right here. Now, um, I have more than this, but right now this is all that I need. I have my Facebook community, I have my website, and then I have my um, link that goes to my funnel. So you want to create something that's working for you. You want to have tools that you're using that is going to help you build your business when you're doing other things, that's what's so important. That's what an online asset is. It's working for you to make money and to build a, a community of people that can potentially be your customers or your partners in your business. All right, so that's it. That's what I wanted to share with you. I find this extremely important. This is like the meat and potatoes of your business. So if you're still using your uh, company website, at least get a video, at least get an opportunity video and put it on a landing page and just share that out. Don't just send them to your static, you know, like every other person has replicated website. All right, so that's it. I will see you guys on the next video. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. Also, you, if you would like to have a coaching session with me, I'm doing free discovery calls for now. Um, and I can kind of give you um, a way to optimize. Make sure that I look at your, your Facebook profile pages, help you to optimize your, your pages, and also give you a little some branding tips to help you get started. But with all, the, all of that said, start building your audience right now. All right, you guys, I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye for now.